Hey, welcome back. So glad you could make it again today. Okay, so today we're going to put together and sew up the scrunchie, okay? And I got my scrunchie done. Got 15 inches of scrunchie, 39 centimeters. Wow, okay. That took me a while. And I did rip it back a couple times, but that's okay. That's how we learn, right? If you make a mistake, you go back. You either fix the mistake. If you can't fix it, you just start again when it comes to knitting. Okay, so... Here we go. You will get better as you go, and things won't take as long. Don't get frustrated, okay? Don't get frustrated. It's all calming. Okay, so I've got my hair tie. Found my hair tie. Got a pair of scissors, okay? And I've got my, my darning needle ready to go. And I found a nice piece of cardboard, nice hard cardboard. So it won't bend when we're trying to work with it, okay? Now, here we go. Let's finish casting off. You slip the first one, and then flip it over, and then you go ahead and cast off. Let's cast off our stitches there, okay? Remember, I'm gonna knit a stitch, and then take the last stitch and flip it over, flip it, flip it off. If you have to go back to the cast off video, go right ahead. I might just do a couple of little videos too that are really short for you just to kind of reference and that you can save in your little library there, your uh, your YouTube library, and then you can go back and reference those later. Later, sorry, later. <laughs> Nana. Nana talks funny sometimes. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Almost done. Almost finished those 15 stitches. And then it's going to be all finished. I'm going to be so proud of myself for getting this done. And I'm going to be proud of you guys too for getting yours done. And it's going to be so pretty. I don't have any hair to be to put my hair tie in, but I'm sure Sam will be able to wear it. All right. So we want to have a nice long tail. Cut a nice long tail because that's the one we're going to use to sew it up. And we're going to pull that through. Oh, all done. Okay, let's take a look. Let's put our needles to the side. All done. Look at that. Holy... It sure is pretty, eh? Look at the colors in that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors. It'll go with anything you're wearing, eh? Okay, so now you want to take the side with the short end, all right? And put it together, match it up to the other side, to the short sides together, okay? Leave this tail to the side. And go ahead and thread your needle now, maybe I'll put the video overhead, okay? And then I'll show you how we'll sew it up. And then we'll do the rest of it, rest of the putting it together on the overhead video. Okay, so hang on. I'll be right with you in a second. One second. Okay, guys, here we go. Now we're going to take this piece that we just finished making. We're going to fold it in half. Sorry, this way, because I'm going to go from back to front. I'm going to sew this way towards me. I find that a little easier, but whatever works for you. Okay, and if you need someone to give you a hand, ask mom or dad or whoever's around, grandma or grandpa. Okay, now we're going to put the needle through there and back through here, just to give us a nice secure start. Okay, give it a, give it a good, 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 strong tug. All right. Now, we're going to go through two. See how this is this top here? See how this is two? This is one stitch right here. See that? That's your cast off row. And this is your cast on row. And here we're going to grab this, these two, too. All right. So, but don't be too, too fussy or hard on yourself because as long as you get it sewn up nice and tight and secure, you'll be fine. Okay. So, let's just go. Go ahead and so whip stitch. This is called the whip stitch. I just know I like to at least get two in there at the same time. Okay. Okay, there we go. Give it a little snug up. Now we're going to go all the way along. Give it a nice little tug. Like I said before, these plastic darning needles, they're kind of nice because there's only they're not sharp. So even if you poke yourself, it hurts a little bit, but you're not going to break the skin. 
And remember, don't use it for, as a weapon against your sibling or brother or sister. Okay? It's just for crafting. Okay? A little snug. There we go. Yeah, but you want it still to lay flat. Okay, there we go. So we get this all sewn up, and then we'll use the long piece. We we'll use the long piece to sew down the side, and I'll show you that right away as soon as we get through just whip stitching this part. So if you picked out, oh, I lost my thread or my wool. There we go. So let's just twirl that up. Push it through there. There we go. Yeah, we're almost finished here, so that's why it's getting short. Because I didn't have, I should have guessed left a little bit more when I first cast on the, cast it on this project. I should have left maybe a little bit longer tail. Because I didn't, I, I realized I should have, because uh, then that's the part that I'm going to, um, sew up with. I'm going to sew up with that extra tail. There we go. Okay. Now for this, I like to go back this way. Okay. And then catch it. So I'm going to put the wool through that loop right there. See that? I'll put it through there. All right. And then I'm going to do that again. Just to make a nice, I'm just going to go through anywhere as long as I'm on both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to push it back through that hole. Okay, so then that's nice and tight and it's not going to come undone. And also what I'm going to do now, okay, now I kind of like that, looks kind of nice. But see how this side, it doesn't even look like you have, that you've done it at all, that you've sewn it up at all. But this side does, this is how the other side's going to look when you're done though too. So I mean it might be nice to have that showing, but it's your choice. Either way, what you're going to do is on one side or, or the inside of the, of the, of the work, you're going to slide your needle down and try to catch a few stitches here like this. Just through. Not going through the other side. Alright, not going through this side. Just on this side. Take your wool, put it back through the eye of the needle, and then pull it through here. There you go. See that? And now it's gone through. It's hiding in there. Alright, now I'm going to clip that off because that's pretty long. I'm going to clip that off a bit. There you go. Leave yourself a little tail spine. And then this is garbage, of course. We're not going to keep that. Okay. So now we're going to take our needle and we're going to put this. I'm going to turn it the other way. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to do it this way because this is going to be the inside. And I'm going to put it over top of this cardboard that I made. It can be a little bit smaller. That's fine. You're going to see, oh, I want to put this in the middle so that the tail's in the middle, like that, okay? Now, where did I put my, oh, oh, what did Dana lose? Dana lost her, oh, there it is, it fell on the floor, I got it, okay, my hair tie. Okay, so now, I'm going to take this hair tie, and we're going to stretch it out, put it over top, okay, just like that. Isn't that neat? You know, I was at the dentist on Monday and I was telling the, the dental assistant there that I was doing this video and she said, how do you get the elastic in the scrunchie? <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Yeah, I didn't know either until I saw this pattern and I went, oh yeah, that makes total sense. Okay, so see, you've gone and put that over top. Now you're gonna take your thread and now I've left lots, so that's plenty to go around. The whole scrunchie. We're not going to do this all under this kind of camera. I'm going to just do go so far and then we're going to go back and so I can we can talk to each other face to face. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to just fold this up and look at, look at, look at, look at. Isn't that cool? Look at the, the those. Remember when I told you we make knots on the side? Those knots line up. Look at that. Hey, cool. Now we're going to do that knot where we go through one side and go through the other. Oh, you know what? I can't make it go through. 
And here, I'm going to turn it around. It's easier for me to work from back to front just because my hands are sore here. There we go. So we're going to go through, make a nice tight one to start with. There. Be patient, remember. It's all about the patience. And do it again in the same hole. All right. There. Perfect. Now, you can either grab the knot and actually sew the knot itself. See? Grab two stitches. Grab two stitches. Or you could even go in between like that. So you're in between the knots. I like going in between the knots now, right now, because uh, let's see. Oh, what happened? I got to cut through there because that's not. There we go. A whip stitch. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should do it that way? Or go through the other way. Well, I can even change my mind right halfway through because it's my scrunchie. And I can go through there and go through there and go that way. There's no wrong or right way as long as you end up with the same result because it's a creation that you've just made. Yeah, that's right. Some things there are right and wrong ways to do things. I have to admit, especially if you're making like a sweater or something like that. But if you're just making something like a scrunchie for yourself, you can play with it and you can learn different techniques as you're doing it. Mm -hmm. okay. Just go on through. Just pull the thread wools out, wool out. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how those lay. Line up, line them up nice. And then it'll be exactly the right length all the way around. So you're gonna go all the way around like this. I think we'll hit the corner together. Or the top there. Oops. Right. We'll do this one. And when you're coming to up here, we're going to just kind of hold it up and do it as we go along. Okay? Just like that, all the way around. So you're all done, and then this, this will be right inside the scrunchie. Okay, so I'm going to let you do that while we're chatting, or on your own if you want. And we'll go back to the other video. And we'll be face-to-face -face again. Good stuff. Be able to finish that on your own, okay, without too much help. Sorry I can't be there in person to help you, but we'll do it this way for now and see how that goes. But at least the kids are in school now with COVID. They're back in school. That's another thing we've been able to open in Winnipeg, and we're doing a lot better. Pretty soon well, everybody will be able to have their vaccinations, and we'll all be hugging and seeing each other again for for weddings and special occasions and I don't know I think I'll be just so happy when that all happens other than that our next project we're going to be working on is going to be the granny squares so on Pinterest I don't know if you're allowed to go on Pinterest or not but on, even on Pinterest if you look up granny square um, projects or, or patterns you'll find so much stuff about the granny square I'm gonna put a link to some um, some different ideas that you can do once you've learned to master the granny square of encroaching. And it's a good idea to, you know, have a, have a thought in your head what you'd like to make first. You can make purses, you can make clothes, any kind of clothes, skirts. And I've even seen people make shorts out of, the, out of granny squares, which is really bizarre. And they look really, really weird. But hey, you never know, to each their own, right? I'm not sure who'd want to make, you know, shorts because in the summertime you'd be wearing pretty hot shorts anyways speaking of summertime I can hardly wait till we can get out to the trailer and then I'm gonna bring you with me I'm gonna video from there as well and maybe I'll get some really nice pictures and some really nice video of the deer uh, our friends that are out there we have deer we have foxes we have all kinds of uh, little little creatures out there that I can video my next door neighbor uh, or not my next door neighbor, my neighbors there too are squirrels. So many squirrels. Anyways, so look at, we're coming around the corner there, so I kind of pinched it. Can you see that? Can you see how I pinched it there? We come around the corner. Yeah, it's not going to take me long to get this sewn up. I know I'm a little faster than you guys, but that's okay. Take your time. Like I said before, it's not a race. Get her done. And you can sew it up any way that it works for you, as long as you can get it sewn so it's secure enough to wear in your hair. Oh, you can put it on your wrist to make it a bracelet. 
make a really giant one and you could make it into a necklace. Of course, not with a hair tie in it, but just a regular piece of elastic. And like I said, you could just turn it into like a, just something to put on your, an adornment, it's called. An adornment, there's a good word for the day, adornment. Something that makes something else pretty. I'd say that was what we, that's what that means. Okay, I'm coming to the end. Oh, boy, that was fast, eh? Okay, I'm also going to put a few links. I'm going to do another couple of little videos, really short, quick ones. Um, that'll just be, let's see, a knit, how to knit, the pirate way, uh, pirate method. And I'll do a little video that's how to purl. And I'll do a little tiny video to cast on. A couple of different ways to cast on, maybe. And I'll do a video for how to cast off. And I'll make them all really small, short videos. And then that way you can save them in your, um, in your, in your, uh, I don't know what they call them, like play playlist, I guess it's called. I don't know. If you know what it's called, put it in the comments so that I'll know what that word is. Okay. And then you can re reference it uh, later if, when you want to get started again if you forget. I know I forget things. Okay, so remember how we were going to finish that off. You go through it tight and then you go back and push it, oh, make your loop at the end and, and feed it through the loop, okay? Like that. And do it one more time. Do it twice so that it's a nice knot in there. That makes a nice knot. All right. And now you're gonna feed the wool. We're gonna pull it off. Now we're gonna feed the wool into there. And then let's see how our scrunchie turned out. This elastic's not very, very, um, what you call it? It's not very uh, uh, tight, I noticed. The hair tie's not tight. So, which means that the scrunchie will be kind of like a big loop. Okay, now let's trim that off. Don't cut your work. There. Now that looks kind of weird, eh? That's because the scrunchie's really, really kind of loose that I had. But once you put it in your hair, check it out. There you go. There's your there's your scrunchie. So I'm gonna put it on something. Okay, just like that. And your hair goes through there. You can open it up. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it so that the elastic is along the edge. Can you see that? It's along the edge that we sewed. Let's see if I can do that without too much trouble. Come on. I always thought you had to, like, thread it through or something, but you don't. You put it on something. There we go. Come on. Get down there. There, it's coming along. Perfect. There. That's nice. Look at that. That turned out pretty good. I kind of like that. There you go. Thanks so much for your free pattern on Ravelry. I love it. Yeah, let's put it on something. That's a ponytail. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a pretty scrunchie? Beautiful. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll catch you next time when we're ready to do our, uh, when I'm ready to do, to show you how to make a granny square. Okay? In the meantime, I'll put, try to get those little videos on for you for uh, just regular knitting. There you go. I like that. That turned out really good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping me in. Okay? You take care now, and we'll see you again.